And this was kind of an interesting uh, peak concurrent. Uh, let's see if I can bring this up. I did want to talk about this. Uh, this was sort of a thing kind of uh, circulating early in the week where player engagement tracker, all divers too, has been huge, but mostly coming from BC on the daily active players, respective platforms. One in four of the Steam player uh, Steam players are now playing Helldivers 2. While fewer than one in 20 are playing on the PS5. Interesting. And uh, this was, though this was uh, kind of, kind of goes in. No, nope, not picture, picture. We will expand our gaming experiences to PC, mobile, and cloud. cloud. Why? PlayStation will remain our core product. So, talking about expanding to PC in the cloud. Though this was actually, uh, apparently, kind of false information as far as the numbers on PC. That would, hell divers, you know, doing so on the PC would definitely kind of confirm that Sony made the right move. But this is from uh, Game Industry Confirms. Uh, Helldivers 2 CEO said it was a very close split between PS5 and PC. So this isn't the... Uh, it's early days, but it looks like PlayStation's new live service strategy has delivered a real hit. At uh, the first time of asking, the remarkable thing about Helldivers 2 is that across European sales increased nearly 40% from its first week to its second, a rare feat. So there was definitely like a game that took off because of word of mouth. Across Europe, Helldivers was comfortably the best-selling game in the last week, selling almost two, 2.5 times second place, which was Skull and Bones. Ouch. Skull and Bones, the $70 live service game, Helldivers being the $40 live service game. Mario vs. Donkey Kong managed number four, no digital data for Nintendo. So Helldivers did slightly better on PC, but only slightly. So, the, do, so it might actually be a closer split than than originally thought, but Helldivers 2 doing incredibly well. 